Within your bulletin, you would have located or should have located an insert of all the graduates that we were made aware of, uh, the graduates who are connected in one way or another to our church. Many of them uh, obviously weren't able to make it today. We may have one or two show up as we present, uh, but that's okay either way. But I'm going to ask Amy to come and go through these names and read uh, uh, these profiles uh, so we could be very appreciative of what God is, has done and what he's doing in the life of our graduates. And I tell you, aren't they some handsome men in this? Amen. And some beautiful women. Amen. They're going to make great spouses, I believe. Um, but Amy, will you come up and present these graduates today? First one is Connor Alexander Clendenin, and Connor graduated from Union High School with a 3.97 GPA and 40 plus hours of college coursework completed. He has been accepted at Appalachian State. I know I said that really bad. Um, thank you. Radford University, Virginia Tech, and others, but has chosen to spend the next semester completing his associate's degree at Mountain Empire Community College. In the future, Connor aspires to be a veterinarian. No, I don't think he's here today. Okay. Okay, our next graduate is Jonathan Hall. Jonathan graduated with a double major in English and political science from UVA Charlottesville. He received his JD degree from Ole Miss, and he is currently studying for the bar exam, and he's already accepted a position with a law firm in New York. Emily Adams is the daughter of Danny and Tiffany Adams. <clears throat> she graduated with honors from ETSU, that's Eastern Tennessee State, right? Okay. With a baccalaureate degree in kinesiology with an exercise science concentration, Emily plans to continue her educational pursuits towards a master's degree in occupational therapy. Our next graduate is Samuel Claggett. He graduated from Mountain View High School and will be attending the University of Central Arkansas, majoring in business with a minor in creative writing. He is in the Army National Guard and has a passion for music and writing. Our next graduate is Nancy Edna Lay. She is the granddaughter of Reuben and Nancy Allman. She graduated with degrees in forensic science and chemistry from Cedarcrest College in Allentown, Pennsylvania. She plans to attend Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine this fall. The next one is <clears throat> Kendall Robbins. She is the granddaughter of Phil and Patty Robbins. She graduated from Cleveland High School and she plans to attend Tennessee School of Beauty in the fall. Now those are the ones that were submitted. I do have one other one that um, I'm gonna, just because I'm the mom, I can do this, um, and, and you let me up here. <laughs> um, my daughter is graduating next month, so it's not official yet, but um, she will have a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies, I have no idea what that means, with a minor in healthcare management from Kaiser University in Tampa. So um, next month I will be going down there to be that obnoxious mom in the audience hooting and hollering. So those are our graduates that we know of this year.
thank you for that, Amy. And I want to encourage y'all to keep this with you. Keep this with you. And from time to time, as you're led, pull it out. Look at the faces of these wonderful children of God. Read their profiles and pray uh, that their visions will be fulfilled. And pray for God to use whatever their expertise are for his glory. Amen. To bring help and to bring security and bring, to bring hope into the lives of God's people. Let's give another round of applause for that. <clears throat>